Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for six rounds in a super welterweight contest. Your referee in charge at the bell, Mr. David Irving, and your timekeeper, Mr. Alex McKenzie. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, officially weighing in at 69.65 kilos, making an impressive 74 professional appearance inside the ring tonight from High Lancashire, England. Please welcome Dale, the choir boy, And now, introducing his opponent across the ring in the red corner, officially weighing in at 70.4 kilos, with a present record of 1 and 0, oh, standing with trainer Pascal Collins, fighting out of Celtic Warriors Gym, Dublin, Ireland. Please welcome Danielson Fourth bout of the night, Phil Campbell and Jay Quigley in commentary for the return of professional Irish boxing to the National Stadium. Daniel, Daniel San O'Sullivan, 1-0 and o as a professional, taking on deal, the choir boy, Aro Smith, and this has all the fixings of a great fight, Jay. Yeah, you know, this is, I'm really looking forward to this one. I've seen Daniel and Sparn leading up to this fight, are very impressive and very calm, relaxed, lets his shots go, hits pretty hard. And Dale is, uh, as we know by his record, you know he's a uh, he's an outright veteran of the yeah, sport. This is his seventy fourth, yeah. Knows his way around the ring, and this is a great uh, this is a great fight for Daniel here tonight. You say Daniel needs to keep calm, just bide his time, implement a little bit of wax on, wax off, does Daniel son? Love it, lad, love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice stiff job. He's got a little bit of range. Here does Dialaro Smith. If he can establish that jab nice and early. You know, Dale's been in the ring with some of the, the best prospects in the game in his weight division. He's been on some of the biggest shows, and uh, you know, he just shrugged his shoulders off there at uh, Daniel's heavy shots to the body. So we'll soon see do they take an effect, especially down down the rounds here in the in the in the six rounder. Big shot over the top, and again, that's a great point, Jay. It's a six rounder. It's do you need to, to pace yourself, be a little bit more selective, a little bit more intelligent intelligent with your shots? 100% you do, but that is... Uh, if, there's a, if there's an opening to be hard, take it. Of course, yep. but that's Daniel's style. Yep. He's very calm, he's very relaxed. He might touch one or two shots, but most of his shots are power shots, mm. and he likes to hurt. Oof. Like, you can hear the thought of them already, yep. you know what I mean? That one was caught on the elbow, but that one wasn't. Oh, he's working the body. But again, sometimes when you work the body, if you don't time it correctly, you leave yourself vulnerable to the counter hook. Yeah, and, and Dale's showing a bit of redness around the nose here as well. So th that lead jab coming in through by the smaller man, surprisingly enough, you know, he's getting through with that lead jab. Beautiful head movement there. Slip and a roll from O'Sullivan. Putting his punches together really fluidly here. I've been very excited to see Daniel in the ring tonight because, as it says, look, I've seen I've seen some of his spars, and you know, he's doing exactly what he does here in his spars. You know, nice touches and letting some heavy shots go. Yeah, it's that. It's almost that that 60-40 principle where you're throwing at 60 percent and then you turn it up and, and land at a bigger uh, a bigger volume. Exactly. Almost. We talked about it earlier before we even started the show. Almost Nate Diaz esque. Yes. Yeah. And and you see fighters, you see fighters like that that you know, aren't too hyped up and aren't rushing the game, mm. they have a lot more stamina because they're not mentally tiring themselves yeah. out. You know, like Daniel is very calm. He's very relaxed in there. He might take one or two shots, but he's landing three or four very heavy shots. Again, just, and it, it keeps, again, head movement there, sumptuous. He's got that peekaboo style there as well. You know, he kind of has one hand up, one hand down, and he's brilliant head movement. You know, I'm... I'm as impressed here as I have been in watching him sparring. Mm. And again, if, if you're able to translate what you do in the gym to the ring, that's a, a hallmark of a great fighter. Because how often do we see fighters, you hear about fighters and their animals in the gym, but it doesn't quite translate sometimes. But no such problem here. Dale knows his role in the yep. boxing game. He is a journeyman. He's in there to, to take fighters around. But most importantly, what a, what a journeyman is here to do, they don't want to get stopped because that takes them out from fighting again in the next couple of weeks. That's a great point. So they're real survivors in here. And Dale is Dale's doing very, very well. You know, he's trying to keep that distance, but 
you know, Danielson is, is landing some really heavy shots. A little, I don't want to say nothing too big or bump him up too much, but yep. some of these punches that he's landing are very golovkin X. you know what I mean? Landing them down over, like, look at in behind the ear, yep. you know, on top of the head. Oh, but yeah, a big hook there. That body is opening up every time. He's doing a great job attacking the head, bringing the hands up, forcing Arrowsmith to, to, to give him the body and then landing big shots. Very, very smart. And again, that movement, it's... It's far beyond that of a one and no professional boxer. Incredible took, movement. Took the words out of my mouth, Phil. You wouldn't believe that this guy is just one and no, mm. and uh, it's a second fight in a professional game. He's shown some very experienced moves here in the ring tonight. And just giving Arrow Smith that shoulder. Oh, cover and then counter hook. It's almost as if he's going through his combinations with his pad man, they're that clean. <laughs> Yeah, and just cutting off the cage. <laughs> Throws a faint, gets the reaction, has a little chuckled himself again, digging into the body. What I love to see here is Daniel's having fun in there. You know, he's smiling. He's he. It does kind of look like he's going through the paces, but this is the way that he fights. Yep. You know, he's very calm. He's very controlled. He's very relaxed. He's very in the moment, which is very not often seen in the boxing game. It's almost borderline playful. You can tell that he's enjoying himself in there. It's a tough enough game in there, and if, you, if you're if you not enjoying it, you're... Uh, you're, you're in, in the wrong game. Exactly, you're in a very difficult sport, so you are, so you might as well enjoy it when you're <laughs> in there. Again, that movement is fantastic. Uppercut to hook, showing a full repertoire of punches here. Again, not, not throwing 100%. Oh, little shades of... Nice jab. You know, for a fighter that's keeping a very close guard and nice and tight, you know, uh, Daniel's getting through that jab mm. and he's landing some clean shots. The, the redness in Dale's nose is, is a evidence of that. Uh, he's covering up well, replying every time. I think Daniel hurt him there with that overhand right, over overhand backhand there. He's finding those gaps right between the gloves. Again, you, you, you don't want to put too much pressure on a young fighter, but it's almost... That there hurt Dale. That body shot there really hurt Dale. You could see those, look at... That wince come smile definitely means I'm that he got touched I'm very impressed here. I'm yep. very, very impressed by Daniel. Not go through the motions, but, but go through his full repertoire of, of offense and then showing his defense as well. Really, really impressed with Daniel Sullivan. That is another thing that's you know really impressing me here tonight is is his head movement. Mm. You know, and and is is rolling with the punches like he's catching punches on his gloves and he's and he's countering very quickly. When Dale Arrowsmith is throwing his punches, Daniel Sullivan is like the little boy that fell out of the tree. He's just not there anymore. You know, I I really believe that. Daniel is going to be a force to be reckoned with for anybody in his weight division over 10, 12 rounds. Yeah. Again, he has that style that's purpose built for distance. He's shown that he has great punching power, but if he wants to, he can drag his opponent into the deeper rounds. Exactly. Oh. That was a perfectly picked uh, body shot by Daniel, but oh. Deal took it well and threw some heavy shots back as well. Not far away with the counter right there. Little bit of bloodying up on the nose of O'Sullivan. Yeah, good see there. I didn't even, I couldn't even see the nose there, but he's starting to, starting to show that Dale's maybe getting through with a little bit more than we think. Yep. And that's another great learning curve for him. Maybe he hasn't been. I, I seen highlights of uh, Daniel's first professional fight. I don't think he had any ball that was blood or anything. So, so that's another thing that he's going to have to overcome in this fight, which is great and. That's part of the journey as a professional fighter. Again, just, it's it, it really, a, it's a cliche in boxing, but it really is a game of inches. Like people think sometimes a fighter's lucky to get out of the way of a shot. That's beautiful timing on the slips, on the rolls. I don't know whether to call you Phil or Al Pacino after that uh, statement <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Again, attacking the body. 
I don't know is Dale hurt or is Dale changing his game plan because he's starting to stand there in the middle now with uh, with Daniel. He's not moving as much as he did. I don't think it's the right game plan, but we'll soon see. When he's shelled up like that, I would like to see O'Sullivan reach across, pull that guard down and come over. It's prime for it. What we've seen the Diamond do in the last 100%, fight. You know, 100%. 100%. Very, very well done. Just trying to get that shot perfectly underneath the yes. elbow. Nice stiff job from Deal. Yeah, good job there by Deal. Again, you'd love to see the numbers on this. How many punches yeah. Daniel Sullivan has thrown? versus how many punches landed because he is landing most of these shots. Oh, he is definitely. And even the ones that he's landing on the arms, they're still taking an effect. You know, yeah. they're, they're gonna they're gonna hurt the muscle and they're gonna tire the hundred percent. Yep, they're gonna force those arms to fill up with blood, then fill up with lactic acid and those arms are gonna feel heavier and heavier as the rounds progress. Like a, a massive effect and bruise and dead in the arm. Well I remember being bullied in school quite a bit and this received many a few dead arms. <laughs> Again, straight back to the body. And Dale Arrowsmith uh, is as game as a badger in this. You know, you've got to give credit to these guys that are that get in here week after week. Yep. Always on the B side, you know, more than enough taking too many shots, you know, than they probably should be. But, you know, you got to give these guys credit. Like, they're That's getting in there every, every week and, you know. For the love of the game. Ah, oh, without a doubt. Sullivan again now up in the frequency a little bit throwing just as many as he was in the first round to show him what a gas tank he has on him what I love about Daniel is he's picking his shots like he's there's never a shot that he throws just for the sake of throwing it. it's fantastic economy but of energy deal is definitely showing a bit of heart and a bit of fight in this round you know he's landing a few back and throw look at this, this it's almost like a body spar this is this is heating up very very yep. nice now so it is Daniel needs to be wary of being drawn into a dogfight even just five punches ripped off as clean as you like. Needs to be wary of chasing, maintain that distance. First time tying up, we're yeah, seeing. There's the hole there after that body shot. Daniel had a wee smile on his face. I think he knew yep. that that one got through and that one hurt him. That's international body language for yep, it got through. Oh, another big shot from O'Sullivan. You can see Aro Smith really starting to wear the fight on his face a lot more. Beautiful jab, just cocks the head back like a Pez dispenser from O'Sullivan. And a nice return. He's got a lovely backhand, and when it lands, it kind of comes over the top and uh, in behind the glove on the ear. And that can. Beautiful that can, timing, yep. That can scatter the. The equilibrium brain, yes 100 yep. percent you know and uh daniel can bang a bit and he keeps smiling coming forward you know this has got to be uh this has got to be heartbreaking for deal here yeah, that's the difference as soon as o'sullivan lands his shots he's covering up ready to reply again that's almost like at one stage it almost looked like a three for three drill would you land your three i'll land my three exactly. you land your three the only difference in this is the more power is coming from O'Sullivan. The cleaner shots are yep. coming from O'Sullivan. Another big shot over the top. You called it perfectly, Jay. It's that shot that's doing the damage a lot between the body shots and those shots over the top. Little counter hook got through there from Oro Smith. Yeah, proving like that he's still dangerous. Arrowsmith is one of these guys that comes here, you know, and, and he's not just here to get a few quid and get out the door. Yeah. Like, he is here to put on a bit of a show. He's, he's not here. disgracing himself by any margin. Definitely not. Definitely not. Penultimate round here, five of six. 
A little bit more pep in the step of O'Sullivan. Yeah, I see that coming out there. You know, he, he looks like he's, uh, I think he's going to really try and get the stoppage one. So he is. It would be it would be a good statement if he did get the stoppage one because he's got a good number of rounds under his belt here now tonight. Yep. Some good experience and it'll be great. Perfect way to finish it off now would be with the stoppage, but we'll soon see. I was about to ask, is it raining in here? No, it was the sweat <laughs> coming off that punch that landed right in my face. Best seats in the house. No need for salt on the dinner tonight, <laughs> lad. <laughs> well, Solomon doing a great job now of just turning that frequency up a little bit. Really took, a, took a little shot there, but just came right back. Yeah, the thing is, you know, any of the shots that he is taking, there's not too much power in them coming back from Dale. It's more of a one just to try and keep him off a little bit, to try and say that I'm still here. Don't just come walking forward at me. The two times that Dale has tied up O'Sullivan has been straight after a big body shot. Nice double, he's working the jab yeah. well. Just keeping that right in the face of O'Sullivan. I would like to see him utilize the rear straight a little bit because he does have the advantage when it comes to the reach. You can see it when he throws that jab. Yeah, Deal hasn't really let that one-two go or nope. it's just usually a jab or a single jab. If he, if he kind of let the, the one-two go down the middle. It'll keep O'Sullivan honest at the very least. Exactly, it'll make him think twice about coming forward so easy. These, these thudding shots, you know, behind the ear and over, like, um, Daniel's back hands, they're coming down over the ear and, the, and behind the back, the it's left the, hand. Yeah, but it's the trajectory that they're coming down on. It's like exactly. he has gravity on his side as well when he's throwing it. Exactly, and, you know, those are shots. Those are going to be, he's going to be pretty sore around the back of the head tomorrow. Sullivan again covers up, slips out of the way, right back into the fire. He's shown that he can fight at distance. He's shown he can fight masterfully in the pocket. There's that jab through the guard again. You know, i have been very impressed with that jab too, coming through the coming through the center of the guard for the from the smaller fighter. And is that you know is that a technical nuance with the way he's maybe turning the hand as opposed to landing straight on, turning the hand yes. to split through the guard? Well, spotted Phil, you know he's not uh, he's not turning that round where it's a little bit thicker to get in. He's turning the hand mm. and just kind of sneaking it through the defensive deal. Again, the jab, that's been, uh, that's been the go-to shot. It's been the, the cleanest shot that Arrow Smith has been throwing. And we go to a sixth round. Happy to meet O'Sullivan in the center of the ring. Sixth and final round, great show of respect from both men. Daniel speak to him there or something, say, come on, come at me, and he went back onto the ropes, maybe. I I don't know if I read that wrong, but... He did take a little lean back, was perhaps yeah, playing a little bit of rope-a-dope. Yeah, he said something, and he just backed himself back onto the ropes. A little bit more venom in the shots now coming from O'Sullivan. Like you said, I think he wants that finish. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the last round of the fight, and who he, he's well ahead on the scorecard, so, you know... Who wouldn't want to get the stoppage one here tonight? With movement like that, Daniel O'Sullivan just entered the matrix. <laughs> More nice head movement. He's showing his skills very here clean, as well. Yes, so, yeah, very, very good. Again, they say backing himself up against this. It's almost as if he's trying to get as much as he can in, into this fight. He's fought a distance well. He's fought in the pocket. Put himself against the ropes. Can't get complacent though in the final round. But again, hand up as sharp as you like. Very good defense and very good reaction after the defense. You know, once he catches a shot, he lets a shot go. Yeah. And that's it's almost as again it comes down to the type of drills I believe he's been doing in the gym. As soon as you feel that stimulus, you reply. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
crowd, crowd a little bit impatient here. They're calling for even more from Daniel yeah, Sullivan. Yeah, I think, you know, I don't know, is it just me or has, uh, has Daniel maybe took his foot off the gas a little bit in this mm. last round? Is there a reason behind that or is he just finding the pace a little bit now? This is, you know, a six round fight. It's only a second professional fight. Yeah, but six, um, six rounds is a long time, but it's a big hook there. Yeah. This is definitely by far Deal's best part of the fight here. Mm. Big smile on the face of Dale Arrowsmith. You know, looking at it, Daniel has put a lot of work into this fight. Yep. You know, he's landed some very heavy shots throughout this fight, and uh, he's been putting the pressure on from the first bell. But like you said, it's been the best round so far for the choir boy. He's dancing and singing to a different tune right now in this sixth and final round. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Oh, might have put the oh. commentator's curse on him there, Jay. That body shot really hurt Dale there. You could see him once and over, and you can see him chasing back <laughs> out of out of distance there from Daniel. Final 10. Final big shot from Osman. There you have it. Six rounds in the book. Fantastic performance from Daniel Sullivan, and one that's really going to stand him in fantastic stead as he progresses in his professional career. Yeah,